and we're live <laughs> welcome to another simply diagnostics video from a bright and sunny cheshire nope it's not bright and it's not sunny and it's just stopped raining but we've got um, we've got a nice little case study for you here how deep do we go with the diagnosis so let's show you we currently have one of Francis finest Citroen DS4 1.6 HDI with the DB6 engine in it and the customer complaint is the coolant fans are not operating hi George how are you so in terms of setup that's what the interior of the car looks like we've got an engine management light on um, I've got me uh, my blue point breakout box connected up um, the reason I'm using the blue point one is it's a rainy day it's a short lead and I've got my Bosch KTS connected up to it only because I want to work Bluetooth and remote so the fault codes we've got hey up Ryan how are you <laughs> it's raining hey up Alan hey up Batman <laughs> yeah it's raining so what we've got here you can see on the RT Mini, I did a quick scan with it this morning. On the RT Mini, we've got an absolute shed full of codes for the fan. Short to earth or open circuit, short to earth, incoherence between setting and the status, all sorts of stuff. So, we go into... And the reason I'm using the KTS is because it's got the inbuilt Bosch ESI, which is a fantastic... Fantastic resource. Hey up Gary. Yeah, always struggling. Hey up Jay. So there's no, no wiring diagram for it on Hella HGS. There was no wiring diagram listed on all data. So I'm, I've currently put in an info request into all data just to grab a wiring diagram. And that way then the next update they'll put that onto the database. But we've gone into uh, into the Bosch. We did have exactly the same fault codes, obviously um, I've cleared the faults now. PO691, cooler fan stage 1, open short to ground. PO495, radiator fan 2, high speed excessive deviation. The setup on this vehicle is, I'll show you, we've got a single fan. That's all we've got, a single fan. And then we've got over here we've got a fan control module i don't know if you can just see it there the 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 orange just above the orange there we've got the fan control module and then we've got a loom that runs down the bottom of the fan cowl in there runs all the way along comes out there and then up round to the various fuse boxes so, to get at that lot, it's the front end off. I'm currently working at home on my driver and I don't fancy taking the front end off a DS4. So, let's have a look at testing. How can we test? T-bag, you're right. And we've got... <laughs> so we've got that one, we've got that one there. And then we've got... <laughs> we've got a Renault Scenic there as well, waiting for me. <laughs> so let's test the easiest things first so we look at that we go into we come back out of that and we go into actuators hey up Haru no Batman we don't go into actuators cooling fan we've just gone to PWM1 hit start read the warnings it's activated it but there's no fan running yeah Ryan you're right there mate so no fan running so no it failed okay so then what we need to do is let's familiarize ourselves with the system so the easiest way pull up a wiring diagram so it's an SID 807 
and then what we want to do we want to go straight to radiator fan control that shows us the fan control module there and straight away we can see coming into the fan control module we've got P, uh, fuse 11.5 going to the fan control module and then we've got fuse 1.2 that goes to the fan control module but then goes off into central electrics so all those two fuses now we can see already somebody has been playing porcupines if we look down there on that big thick red wire can you see already had a porcupine in there and we don't want to be doing anything like that so let's check the easiest stuff first the easiest stuff being the fuses so we've got 11 2 uh, 11 5 and, and 1 2 this is fuse box 1 that's fuse box 11 I've got my power probe alligator connectors connected up to my OTC test light 4 mil banana guaranteed power and ground my test light works so this is this is fuse 2 okay battery positive there also literally all I need to do to check these fuses is just go on the other side of them just to make sure that I've not got a stress fracture or a blown fuse this will be the main fuse that's supplying the fan okay that's fine that's good that's that big thick red wire that was porcupined so I'm no doubt if I got a test light down into there that would be live the next one is fuse box one two right so what do we do about that let's have a let's have a look see what we can do so back here to Bosch ESI reference info installation positions installation of re relays and fuses fuse box one fuse number two okay that, that one there fuse number two that one right there so let's go to that fuse keep the key is on so one side is live one side is dead okay so we've got a blown fuse that is a terminal 15 feed from inside the car okay the fuse is blown we we'll pull that fuse so what, what I want to do now is just check it so I pulled that blown fuse that side's dead that side's live what happens if we switch from battery negative to battery positive have I got a path to ground the test light's not lit up yeah so I've no no short to ground so it must be feeding a module okay so I've no short to ground so it's not blown because of a permanent short to ground so I'm quite safe I'm just going to shove another fuse in okay that fuse is in <clears throat> back to diagnosis actuators PWM Yeah, full speed Down to 41% And off Okay It's a good one So it's fixed but it's not right it's not fixed because the blown fuse is a symptom and not a cause so what we've got to do now is find out why it blew okay so if we go back to our wiring diagram yeah this is the fuse that had blown the supply is coming from inside the car so it can't be on this line that it's blown so it must be from here to the radiator fan control okay we are going to find a short to ground somewhere in that loom that runs along the bottom here up around that chassis leg 
up from there, around there, and into this fuse box. That's what we're, what we're going to find. So that's the hunt now, is to find that 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 rub point. And for that, that will require me taking the bumper off and having a real good look. So I'm certainly not going to do that within my tier one non-intrusive testing fee. So I hope you enjoyed that. Didn't see didn't see a lot of the chat, but I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, David, so no, um, what I mean, it's not traded in mate, it's come from a garage, um, at the moment I'm not doing any work at all for the public, I'm only doing work, yeah, I'm only doing work for garages that I trust at the moment, so yeah, it's come from, come from another garage, another garage that concentrates on their core products, and you know, they leave the, they leave the Diag stuff to me, um, it just means that, that you know they earn money and the customer gets gets the best value for the money so rather than spending hours and hours and hours looking for something putting fan control modules on and all that sort of stuff and um, they'll get me in so all we've got to do now is get authorization to pull that bumper and, and find that find that short to ground because i'm sure that is what we're going to find so i hope you enjoyed the video if you did please leave us a thumbs up drop a comment in the comment box uh, oh thanks Nerex <laughs> uh, yeah um, leave us a, a comment in the comment comment box below once the video is published if you're not already a member um, get yourselves over onto www.simplydiag.net there's a free public side we'd love to see over there so thanks for watching guys you're awesome and we'll see you later Either for the part two of this where we find the broken wire or the intake air temperature fault on the scenic. Thanks for watching. You're awesome.